inbound seven local trains. The next stop is 82nd Street, Jackson Heights. People think that the Western model is the right model, right? But there is this benevolent attitude that comes from that Western model, especially with parachute reporters who are from America and they're like, oh, I'm going to Africa or Bangladesh or India and I'm going to report on this and show how these people are suffering and blah, blah, blah. So there's this attitude of superiority that comes with Western media and the way they choose to tell stories. Um, I think Bangladeshi is what we have is a unique perspective, especially when it comes to our own people and our own community. So I think it's great that these outlets exist, but in terms of ethics and how they present themselves and their storytelling, those are things I have questions about. wanted content like not that much information but content readers they want to spend few hours while going home from their job or going to the job or on a weekend and then we decided that we'll put it some kind of basic information that community people needs at that time 28 years ago news there was a crisis for news there was a huge demand for news back from back home because that time to gather news it was really difficult for us because there was not modern fax system, no email, no internet, only telephone. And it was basically I think 16 page newspaper to begin with. There are people who are living in the shadows. The idea is to bring them out of the shadow. They just can't be living in an island. They need to part of the mainstream. They need to take part and be active. How do you do that? By telling them what's going on around him. And this is very, 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 very important. Bangladeshi news reducing and the uh, community news and mainstream news are increasing here. There is two things. One, it is benefit for the community. Number two, it is itself is a big news. Say about if anything happened in the world or the United States, which is a big news, breaking news, definitely it will be prioritized because people want to know what's happening. Then number two, we prioritize, um, you know, if any news comes, which is related with the community or ultimately it will touch the community. Say about welfare, welfare reform. Uh, if you see anything which, is, which will impact the life of the community, and it is a news, then we prioritize this. Everybody's crazy about cricket. That's not the reality here. The reality over here is basketball. The reality here is baseball. And we need to understand the people who are here, the kids who are growing up here, uh, high school, junior school, high school, college, all they do is, is you know, LeBron James. And before, if you go back, Kobe Bryant, if you go even back it's uh, Russell or Michael Jordan you that's what you do so you need to become relevant how do you become relevant by understanding what the youth are doing today we figured out there are many television channels in Bengali language and they're for Bangladesh and there is none at that point, at that point, that are from the US that talks and, 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 be, and, and be relevant to people, especially Bangladeshis, who are living in this country. Because the content that we watch in Bangladeshi channels, and there are 40 of them, most likely are not relevant because we don't live there. That's not our reality. We decided to give our signal to all the IPTV instead of um, dish or cable because dish one exclusive, cable one exclusive. We don't really know. We are we have to give our signal where people. It will be easy for everyone to have the access of the program. Don't have TV, nothing, then you can just go to online www.timetvusa.com and watch anything. You know, it's a live feed. 
you don't have to be here in the US, you don't have to be anywhere. You can go, if you have internet access, you have access to time television. And we have a basic program, which is we are from studio, live program from anywhere. It is simultaneously in the TV, in the uh, online, and also in the Facebook. People like technology, but nobody likes complex things. How do I reach maximum number of people? That's one. Second, how, I, how can I make it easier? One click, two click, you are watching it. Can I should uh, have an English section from younger people still? Uh, we are thinking to introduce a section for the young generation for in English version. We are producing the news, we are producing the music, we are producing young generation program, we are producing a lot of other, uh, you know, um, program which is related to, related to the community and it could definitely benefit for the community as well. We don't focus Bangladesh news, we focus American news, right? So this is the way we are empowering the community, we are enlightening the community. It's having a more young youth perspective and voice in these things. All the few channels I visited in the ethnic media here, they're just run by really old, older generation, one dimensional mindset folks. So maybe not even new media, but bringing fresh blood, fresh perspective. Maybe someone like, well, I'm older now, but someone uh, who, like me, who's worked in different, these different international outlets to bring that level of standard to a, a ethnic media newsroom could be a transformative thing. We have to engage them. We have to bring them in give them, ask them what they want to do, how they want to do. And with our experience, we can put together shows, events that we can actually work together. The problem is people like me or older than us have a tendency not to trust the youth. And that actually creates a backlash. The youth, on the other hand, don't trust us. I always found that very amazing uh, or amusing that why this happens. I don't understand this. I really don't understand this. It should be the other way around. We should be helping one another. So by creating that bridge and by trusting each other, we should be able to give them the center stage. And I think the rest is their work. That's one of the ways I think it's going to work out very well. We need to be mindful of that and we have to be respectful.